Hello my lovely friends, welcome to the channel, welcome to Just Shake or Steer, my name is Georgi and today it's all about Easter and if you're wondering what I'm drinking and why it looks so funny and colorful you better stick around till the end because I'm gonna present three Easter cocktails today three very different but wonderful sips to make your Easter holiday just perfect sure most of you had the classic espresso martini and probably most of you had some kind of a variation on riff on the classic espresso martini. So today it's not going to be a different. Today I'm going to throw another version which is favorite of mine and this is the chocolate orange espresso martini. Uh, this is also you can see it in different bars uh, served different way but this is my recipe and I hope you enjoy it. Now one of the product which I'm using today it's not that widely available so you can replace it easily with another product i will let you know so let's see what we need as ingredients so first of all this is the product which i'm saying this is the bovary cv premium chocolate liqueur made with premium vodka now if you don't have this product available where you live you can replace it with mozart dark chocolate or any chocolate liqueur available to you it will do perfectly the job since i have it and I love it, I will be using it, okay? Next one we have dark chocolate cacao. I have quite a lot of balls here in the bottle, so I have to finish it before I replace it with my favorite Gifard. Then we're going with a cold brew coffee liqueur, and of course, who else but Mr. Black. And finally, to bring the orange flavor, I'm gonna use Grand Marnier. You can use Contro or any other orange liqueur. And finally, we have a freshly made espresso here inside in this lovely little jug. So if you're ready, let's build. So first of all, we're gonna start with the Bovary CV vodka. And because this is a chocolate liqueur based on vodka, I'm gonna use a 45 ml. As you can see, it's a very thick liqueur, but it's fantastic. And if you can find it, you won't regret it. Trust me. Okay. Then we're gonna go with the liqueurs. Dark creme de cacao, 15 ml or a half an ounce. Oh, chocolate is going everywhere. Wonderful. Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur, 15 ml or a half an ounce again. And finally, to bring some orange to the mix, I'm going to use the Grand Marnier. Again, use uh, Contro if you don't have, do not use Dry Curacao. It's going to change the cocktail. It won't be that good as supposed to be, okay? 15 ml again, or a half an ounce. And finally, 30 ml or one ounce of freshly brewed coffee. And there we go, we are ready to shake. Now, fill up your shaker with ice because you're gonna need it because the hot coffee is gonna melt the ice pretty quick. And you wanna give it a good shake to make proper the froth, okay? Really good shake, really strong, 10 seconds. Ah, it's beauty. Let's move this jigger on the side. We don't need it at the moment. Leave down the side. Now, I'm gonna serve this in the Nick and Nora glass. You may expect to be served in the cup glass or martini glass, but in this case, I'm gonna serve in the Nick and Nora glass. And uh, you need to double strain it. You don't want any of the ice inside and you won't get that much froth like you get from the classic espresso martini because you have the chocolate liqueur which is more thick, so it won't, it won't let the espresso to make that much froth, but it'll be equally good. And let's serve. Oh, look at that. Absolutely beauty. 
Yes! Now because it's in Nick and Nora glass, I will not put any garnish, however, if you want, you can put a little zest on the side or preferably if you surf in a bar, a good garnish maybe it's required, but if you make it at home, you don't really need it. Just enjoy a lovely chocolate orange espresso martini. Cheers guys! Oh, you know, chocolate and orange always the perfect combination. Let's move to the next cocktail. Okay, so since it's Easter, we can't go without Advocat. Yes, Advocat usually I present on the channel around Christmas, but it's also very well received during the Easter celebrations. And of course, we need a cream egg. So what I did here, I had a cream egg already. Let's see if it can focus. Yeah, I got a cream egg already done as a garnish. And there's a cocktail which it's called Excellent. Very nice name. Now, the cocktail originally required a cognac, avocat, and a yellow chartreuse. I don't have yellow chartreuse, but not to fear. I do have chartreuse elixir, which is in this small bottle, and it's a very strong concentrate. So we're just gonna coat the glass and uh, we're gonna make the excellent cocktail a little bit different. So let's see what is the ingredients. As I mentioned, it's made with cognac. So today I'm using Saint Remy uh, Oloroso Sherry Cask to bring a little bit of sweetness. Of course, I'm using a Warnings Advocate and my Elixir Chartreuse, which is gonna be just to give it a little spray coating the glass. So if you're ready, let's build up. Now the cocktail is shaken, of course. Very easy, straightforward. So we're gonna have 30 ml or one ounce of our cognac. So 30 ml. Here we are. Then Advocat, 60 ml of the Advocat liqueur. So I'm gonna fill it up here once because that's 50. And I'm gonna drop another 10. There you go. Wonderful. As I mentioned, I'm just gonna coat the glass with my uh, chartreuse. So I'm gonna give it a good shake and serve. A fair amount of ice. And let's give it a good shake. Around 10 seconds, it will be absolutely enough just to incorporate the Advocat with the Cognac, dilute a little bit, chill the cocktail down and be ready for surf. And now I need to pick a glass. So, okay, I'm gonna surf in another Nick and Nora glass. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna coat the glass just a little bit with the Elixir vegetable. It's called by Chartreuse. As they recommend usually it's to use maximum five mil in a cocktail but what we're gonna do here is just literally coat the glass just to give this lovely kind of a herbal notes to the cocktail there you go double strain because we don't want any of the ice to go in oh beautiful beautiful put this on the side here dripping everywhere <laughs> and of course we're gonna garnish with a lovely cream egg and this is the excellent cocktail my way again of course I just replaced the yellow chartreuse with a little bit of the green chartreuse elixir just to coat the glass but still equally good so cheers oh you can never go wrong with cognac and an avocat. Just never. And this lovely a little herbal note coming from the chartreuse. Just fantastic. So let's do the last cocktail for today. So the third cocktail I'm gonna do today, while I'm sipping my chocolate orange espresso martini. Cheers. Hmm. Let's put it on the side. 
So this is a fun cocktail. It's for all of you who likes boozy, strong cocktails, a little bit of character and a little bit of fun on an Easter evening, okay? So this is very easy. Again, it's a shaken cocktail, but before we do it, let me show you what is the ingredients, okay? So we have vodka. So any good vodka, I'm using kettle one. White creme de cacao. So grab any white creme de cacao. That's all you need. Orange bitters and a box of Smarties. Yeah, box of Smarties. It's called Smartini. And uh, yeah, it's a basically a lovely classic vodka martini but instead of the dry vermouth we're replacing it here with the white cacao to bring a little bit of this chocolate flavor of course we're going to bring orange because orange and chocolate always go together and for a little bit of fun and a lovely garnish we're going to use smarties so let's build okay as i mentioned it's a shaken cocktail so we're going to start with our vodka and we have 60 ml or two ounces of vodka we go another 10 just to drop in then we have 30 ml or a one ounce of white cacao liqueur beauty and finally a three or four dashes of the orange bitter so one two three four there you go fill it up with ice and give it a good shake as you can see it's not a stirred cocktail it's shaken which is going to introduce a little bit more air to the cocktail it's going to make it lighter and more pleasant to drink shake it tight enough perfect and since the cocktail is uh, shaken we're gonna do a double strain I know there's no juices syrups any hard bits but you don't want any of the ice small pieces to go again in the cocktail I need a martini glass and I'm gonna choose this one if it's martini let's be a martini All right double strain You see how cloudy it is at the moment? That's because of the shaking. Obviously, it's gonna clear. It's gonna be nice and clear cocktail. And for a garnish, Smarties. Now you may think how you're gonna put them in the cocktail. Well, simply, you're just gonna drop them inside in the glass. Simple as that. So let's get, what, fair amount of different colors and just pop them in. a few more there you go and this my lovely friends it's smartini cheers no bad at all seriously if you like vodka martini if you are a fan of this lovely classic which is basically two ingredients and you want a little bit of kick and a lovely boozy cocktail this is fantastic very pleasant to drink because it's obviously shaken you have more air in the cocktail it's diluted it's not that strong if it's stirred and you have this wonderful chocolate orange flavor because we replace obviously the dry vermouth with a white cacao liqueur it's just pleasant really pleasant and obviously the smart is inside is just for the fun of it they won't do any justice to the cocktail they won't change the flavor but it's just a nice fun. I hope you enjoyed this Easter episode with uh, three totally different cocktails. I had a really big list what to do. There was a Pisco on the list, there was a Chocolate Negroni, there was other things, but I decided probably presenting them in other time, not necessarily related to Easter because they're wonderful cocktails and they deserve the attention and being shared with everyone. If you enjoy, don't forget to like, share, comment, and yeah, enjoy Easter. Spend some time with the family, 
have fun, have a few lovely cocktails, and I'll see you next week. But until then, as always, I love you and I leave. Bye-bye.